I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to. Hi everybody, it's Jules. Um, remember all the trouble I was having with the monofin? Well, um, I am making modifications. First off, I got rid of those rapid foot pockets. They were just terrible. Um, it was bad plastic. There's nothing I could do about it. They would keep cracking, breaking, no matter what I did. And um, they even cracked worse once I took them off and I was just holding them and looking at them and fresh new cracks that weren't there before showed up. So we ditched those. And I've gotten new foot pockets. And these are the ones we're going to use. Now I do still have a couple nuts and bolts, but I have zapped these down with uh, poly zap and some um, epoxy. The rubber has the poly zap and the areas in between the rubber here, the areas in between the rubber there, as you can see, uh, in the channels is the epoxy and then on the rubber is the poly zap. Now, you're probably wondering what this sheet here is for. Um, this is my bump sheet. And let me try to explain that to you a little bit. The bump sheet is basically going to prevent the screws and nuts from touching the latex. Um, basically, since um, this fin is going to be using these nuts and bolts, uh, we're going to put the nuts on here like I have with the one it's going to fold over and then I'm going to take these nuts and bolts apart and we're going to line it up to where it's there and it's going to be pretty taut as taut as I can make it and that's going to curl under and fasten down and what's that going to do is it's going to give me a bump sheet so instead of the latex from my tail hitting the nuts and bolts, it hits this surface. And um, even with pressure, you can see the bolts don't come through. So I shouldn't have to worry about anything ripping. Granted, everything's going to be down to just the nut. These uh, posts are not going to be sticking up. I'm going to be cutting these. That's what I had to do with these was cut these. So um, we have that. And I've already been testing it out. I've had it on my feet and I'm flopping it, you know, kicking it around. It's not the same as being in the water, but it's holding up. And this poly zap is some awesome stuff. It really holds the latex well. Now, I do have holes here. This is because of where the rapid was. But um, we are going to leave these alone. I'm not putting anything in these. The bump pad's only going to go over this. Since this is held down uh, here and here, on each one of these with a poly zap. And then I have poly zap in between these two sheets. So it's not going to come up. If it comes up, well, it's not that big a deal um, because it's still secured. So and that's how we have solved the monofin problem. And I really like these foot pockets, they're very comfortable. They actually came off a pair of, um, yeah, here it is. Aquasphere Zip XVs. Um, they cost me like 34 bucks plus tax. So, but they're very comfortable even with the uh, nuts and bolts down in there. I don't know how well you can see them, if you can see them at all. Probably not. There you go. Now you can see them. Um, basically what I did was took the rubber um, from the foot pockets on the Rapid and cut them and made myself rubber washers. So, I'll have a little bit of something on the bottom of my feet, but that's not going to hurt me. I'll get used to it um, until we can get some binding posts. But once I put this back in the tail, it's there until it falls apart, which I think is going to be a very long time. Um, so, but before making this, but before making um, the modifications, I actually ran through some of the physics of it. 
um, stresses and everything else um, to kind of give me a better understanding of what I had go well wrong the first time and a lot of it had to do with not extending this to the full length of the foot pockets I only had it halfway which gave it a hinge point which gave it pressure which made it start to crack there but it was actually failing before then uh, like I said they came off the busted wrap that I had which was already cracking so and I know everybody's like oh don't use bolts don't use nuts um, for the bobby monofin I kind of have to um, otherwise I gotta go buy a whole new sheet of Lexan cut it out all over again that's another seventy dollars that most people don't have me being the poor girl that I am I've learned to modify so I've learned to modify and do what we've had I have to do to make things work so um, but that's how I did it and I hope me showing you this helps out if you have any problems um, this is gonna be finished up tonight it's gonna go back in the tail tonight and I'm gonna seal it up with the latex pray that it's ready for tomorrow um, we have the swim thing so. and there you have it guys one bump shield and that will keep the screw heads from coming through had a little spot that worked through accidentally by me poking it but I dripped some plastic on it to seal it and that's gonna save my tail so I'm just gonna go put a bead of glue here and a bead of glue here and it's all finished thanks for watching guys I hope this helps you bye